guys, we're here. The PBF Season 6 Semi-Finals. Last week I defeated Noodle, coach of the Toronto Star Raptors, and this week I take on Scoot, coach of the Blackmont Rye Cougars once again. We faced him week 4 and ended up losing. That leads me to believe I may lose again, which is why I'm going with this uh, over-exaggerated intro. But yeah, um, I am worried about Scoot. Um, I've shown his team week four. I don't know if he made any trades. I think he did, actually, so we can go over it again. Uh, Stel Celestila, who is his Zemon, Zardex, Clefable, Crocodile, Suicune, Delmize, Jolteon, Hitmonlee, Mesprit, Swellow, and Greninja. I remember last time I was excessively prepping for Jolteon, and he didn't even bring it. He had caught me off guard with max speed banded Delmize. He didn't even bring, like, Celesteela or Clefable either, I don't think. Um, this time I went a little dip. He had a, an AV max defense, max spadef, max HP, Crocodile too, to counter my, uh, Nihilego, which, uh, led me to prep a certain way. Um, I'm feeling like this time he might bring an offensive scarf build and try to pursuit trap me and get me out of the game. But we can go over the team I brought this time. Uh, Life Orb Torn, Hurricane, Taunt, Knockoff, Heat Wave, Knockoff, Heat Wave for Celesteela. Um, if Celesteela has leftovers. Uh, I don't remember it being his Zemon, to be honest, but I think if he does bring it, he might bring leftovers. That's why I brought knockoff to get rid of that. Also to taunt it, prevent it from seeding. Same with Cliff, prevent it from calm minding or soft boiling. And then strong hurricane. Uh Aukaberry Mammo. This is to live um I think fire punch from Zard X. Uh with Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash. Not much to say there. Adamant. Um Shookaberry Volcanion to live Earthquake from Zard X with Subtoxic, Steam Eruption, HP Electric. Last time I was bulky, this time I'm max speed. That way I can hopefully outspeed this Suicune and beat it 1v1, because last time we were leading versus each other, he he toxicked me before I could, you know, wall him, so going, going with a little reverse setup this time, see how that works. Here we got Rocky Helmet, uh, Electros, Thunder Wave, Giga Drain, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. Uh, a bunch of special attack, a bit of defense, max HP, like I said, Rocky Helmet, uh, Flanium Z Salamence with Fly, Fire Fang, what was Fire Fang for? Celis, I guess? Yeah. Uh, Iron Tail for Clef, and Dragon Claw for Zard, um, I'm Moxie, uh, Jolly, so it's a speed tie at worst, versus Zard, he'll probably expect me to be Scarf, but I don't want to be Scarf Mence because at best if I was, and he was at plus one and I was using this as a check to uh, plus one Zard, um, you know, like I said, it's a speed tie, so not really worth it. And in fact, um, the, the Scarf I usually bring is next, Nihilego, although this isn't Scarf this time, it's Expert Belt, um, with Grass Knot, Power Gem, Sludge Wave, and HP Electric with enough speed for Zard, and, uh, yeah, that's it, I, I didn't prep, like, at all for Greninja, I didn't know how, like, straight up, <laughs> there's so much Greninja can do, I just felt like I might as well try to work around the rest of his team the best I can, then, like, let's say he doesn't bring Celesteela again, I can work my resources around to, um, have things like, uh, Electros, who is there specifically for um, offensive Celesteela to, like, I can use that as a way to check Greninja instead or something, so. Yeah, that's what I got going on this time. Really nervous, but I'm going to uh, move forward and confront Scoot once and for all for what very well may be my final match in the PBF Season 6. Alright, you guys, here we go. I'm just gonna challenge him. Oh, here we go. Alright. He brought the cliff. No Celis. No Jolteon, but he did bring this again. 
Ironically, Heatran doesn't match up well versus Clef, but that's about it. So, I'll lead this. I do have Shookaberry. Doesn't really switch well into Steam Eruption, aside from the Clef. So I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, he could go, um, Delmize and hope I'm um, min speed again. I doubt he would go Delmize because, um, the potential to burn him is there too. I really don't think he'll stay in because I believe he's, uh, offensive, like I said this time. Trying to catch my Nihilego off guard. Uh, he might knock off. Hopefully I don't miss. Like, if he stays in and knocks. Um, okay. Okay, here's Suicune. I get a crit, turn one. Fortunately, no burn. I say fortunately because... I can do this. And avoid a toxic. Oh! Is this what we're doing? <laughs> well, I do have Hidden Power Electric. So probably top or Sub Calm Mind. I don't think he can hit me. I, I, if he has sub, I doubt he can hit me. So this might come down to some PP pee -pee wars. Which I am not a fan of. So I might try to avoid this some other way. I outsped him though, so if I can break his sub, I can toxic him. That should be good to go either way. As long as he doesn't have rest. I would have toxic myself if I expected sub, but I really didn't. Probably should have, but... This is fine either way, I think. Like I said, I do not think he can hit me. He probably has sub, toxic, scald. He might not even have toxic. He probably has sub, scald, protect. Maybe he does have toxic. Maybe he has ice beam. But the point is, I don't think he can hurt my, uh, this. He might have calm mind if I didn't mention that. I, I just hope he doesn't have rest. Like, if he doesn't have rest, we'll be good to go. I can break his sub, then toxic him the next turn, and we'll be good to go. Okay, he does have protect. So, sub protect. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll break his sub here. Toxic him the next turn. Though that turn, he'll probably protect again. So I'm, I'm debating going for uh, HP Electric on that turn. I'm expecting him to protect. Then revealing the Toxic as he maybe subs again. Sub protect. Calm Mind Scald? There's no way. Because why would he bring that in versus Volcanion? He has to be able to threaten me somehow. I don't know. With sub protect, eating away at two of his move slots, I really don't see how he can threaten me. Um, he's probably gonna go Clef eventually once he realizes I beat this. If he does realize that, he might be he might have some ultra plan though that in fact he beats me. But I think I'm good to go. I think I will um HP electric after I break the sub, unless he Unless he reveals Calm Mind, in which case I will Toxic immediately. Alright, right out to Charizard on the HP Electric. Very nice. I wonder how much, um, Steam Eruption does. 68 to 81. Let me go for it. Uh, he'll probably roost. Do I want to toxic this thing or paralyze it? Optimally, I want to kill it right here. I don't know if it, he might, like, he might just sacrifice this thing in an effort to break my sub, then go out to something like. Oh. Okay, I don't. He may be trying to stall me out of steam eruptions with pressure. That may be a possibility. The instant I reveal toxic, he's gonna know his clef walls me. Let me just go for this as he protects. Now I'll toxic. 
I don't see uh, a reason not to as we get a nice toxic off on the crocodile so looking good and I honestly believe he's just trying to um, I'll sub here I think he's trying to pressure stall me out of uh, steam eruptions so I think subbing here is fine because okay I outspeed his crocodile well that's uh that's awkward uh, so he probably has no speed probably max uh, steam eruption I think still kills 88 unless he's max max AV again and that opens up uh, Nihilego, so I'm really tempted to just click this. I have the Shuka, so I will live this. Like I said, yeah, he is trying to... Every t I don't know how Scoot does this. Like, how'd he know I wasn't going to Steam Eruption that turn, but he knew I would this turn? Can someone explain... I don't know. I don't see a problem uh, not going for a sub. If he protects, which he does, then uh, get off this free sub. He didn't mega, right, so I could HP electric again, which I will. I don't mind Crook being here. Is he going back immediately, or is he going to randomly try to break my sub again? He's thinking about it. Okay, how do I avoid getting swept by Zard if he stalls me out of steam eruptions? Wait. Okay, so I still have one left. I guess I'll toxic this thing. See what you can do, Shadow Claw. I need to save Zygarde for, um, I keep calling it, uh, Electros for Suicune, I think. So I'll go to Torn. That does not look Bandit or anything crazy like that, so. Pretty good. Um, probably AV based on that damage. Um, Hurricane should kill even with AV? Oh wow. That's out of the way. Um, probably has to go Greninja right now. Yep. Which I do not switch well into at all. Though what would he do to threaten me? Probably water attack. Would he though when I have this I'm out of steam eruptions, would it be worth it to risk this right now? I think it would. I think he'll either Okay, he so he has dark pulse. Guess that works too. I guess I'll save this then for um whatchamacallit. Let me calc that. Dark pulse did how much? 40. I guess that's a reasonable range. He might be sashed or something. So let's calc uh, Electros. Hydro can do it, Kaomi. But I don't think anything else can. Kinda want a Giga Drain on his potential spike, maybe? Maybe get some recovery back. Clef. That did decent damage. Should I paralyze this thing? Is there any merit to that other than getting lucky? I don't think so. What am I, modest? I think Clef should outspeed me unless he eve this thing to, uh... Okay, rocks get up. 
I have no way to defog them. So my Volcanion is dead unless I get him to defog, so I should probably start making moves with my Mammo. Alright, let me, uh, let me go my Nihilego. Then double to, uh, does he have Protect? Yeah, he does. I should have, should have figured with Scoot. Now I'll Quake, because he shouldn't Protect once he sees that this is my only Stealth Rocker. Wish? Oh no. I gotta Quake again in case he goes, uh, Suicune. That's fine. Um, Earthquake did 48. Let me go for it again. 49. Not bad. Wish again. Watch him this time. Oh, wow. Actually, he was able to get up them rocks. Nice. But his clef is up full. I should uh, save this thing. He's probably gonna moon blast right now. Though he might uh, wish again. Yeah, he does wish. I don't think staying in here is the play. Sludge Wave will kill pretty much everything. Will it even kill Clef, I wonder? It won't kill Crook, which I'm expecting him to go out to. And then he'll try to Pursuit Trap me. I gotta see if I live this. I don't think any attack Pursuit should do about 50. Let me just go for this. Okay, there's the Crook. I wouldn't have done much with uh, Grass Knot anyway, so... I believe I'll sack my uh, Mence now. Not Mence. Why did I say Mence? Volcanion. Though... I just realized he can't defog. So we're both stuck with these hazards up. So I might as well sack this Volcanion. I, I automatically thought he would have defog, but I guess he had this as a spinner. So Zard looking kind of... Not easy, but much more manageable unless Clef passes a wish to it, which I shouldn't allow. I don't think I'll ever be able to allow that, so... I'm pretty sure he's that calm or careful max spadef, max HP set again. Based on the fact that, uh, my what's-his-thing outsped him. Watch him be just no-speed adamant banned and knock me out with this. He didn't even go for Pursuit. Okay, so what's happening here? Quake, alright. He's Leftovers. Interesting. I think I can go Mammo then and claim a kill? Question mark? I could also just bop something with, uh... Ment. But that'll bait in Gren. Which is still at 100%, by the way. Anything I do baits in grand because I didn't prep for it because I didn't know how. This is really how this goes down. I guess I'll go Mammo. And uh, I really want to Quake in case he goes Clef or Suicune. He might stay in, but I don't think he will when this thing um, checks uh, my Nihilego, so... There's the Suicune. Adamant is able to knock that out. Very nice. Clef coming back out. Let me go out to my... All this is doing is whittling me down, which is putting me in range of Shuriken. I think I'll just Quake. Pressure him to uh, stay in. As Moonblast happens. Protect here is... Guaranteed. Really surprised he moon blasted when I went this last time. Really surprised. Let me go it now, expecting the protect. Cause now I get this in um when he's not uh whatchamacallit. I'll sludge wave now on his protect, right? Now do I sludge wave again or do I grass knot? Let me see how much of this does. Ooh! <laughs> Not bad. I think Grass Knot will do 7% to uh, Zard. If he went that, but he doesn't, so... Gren's forced out here. I don't think he kills me with Surf. I really don't. 
Hydro kills. Surf kills. Shuriken kills. Waterfall kills. So I'm basically dead here. That's what I'm getting at. I have no way uh, around it. I'm just sludge wave. Go out to this and uh, try to volt switch. Watch him have spike and he just... The horror stories I could tell from playing Scoot, I, I could go on for days. But we already saw him do it earlier in the battle. Predict immaculately with the, the pressure on the Vulcanian. I think if he goes Clef... Did I reveal Helmet? Because if not, he might be scared out. Like, I don't know if... I doubt Surf kills, but it might. I don't even know. I guess I should have calced this, but I don't have a better Mon to go out to, you know, versus Greninja. The Mon that I notoriously didn't prep for, and it's gonna cost me the game. I did prep for everything else, though, so... I'm proud of that. But, uh, I, I don't think I can get rid of this Gren. Especially if he knocks me out right here. But I'm thinking Clef is gonna come in. Which... Could go Torn. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Zard. Okay, so he sacked Charizard. Interesting. It, I mean, if he has Ice Beam, there's really nothing I can do. I think even Dark Pulse will probably knock me out from this range. Let me try, uh, Heat Wave. No, because he might not have Ice Beam. I'll just Hurricane. He does have it. That's game. I can't... I can't kill Greninja. I actually can't kill Greninja. It's even able to kill, hilariously enough. I guess I can bluff the scarf. Nah. Wild. He didn't even fear it. So like I said, I didn't know how to prep for Greninja, so I just kinda didn't. And uh, looks like that cost me the game. Good game though, Scoot. Uh, best of luck in the finals. As I said, that does eliminate me, so... Uh, yeah, there won't be any more PBF Season 6 footage from me. But uh, check out Scoot. He uh, he does YouTube, if you guys don't know. I'll leave a link to his uh, channel in the description. You can see his uh, final match when he uploads it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.